Welcome to the Be Creative Podcast. Welcome to the Be Creative Podcast. You're scared of who? Uh, the non-believers. Well, don't be scared, Candy, because today is Be Creative Podcast number three. Did you know that? No. Because it's not. It's actually number four, Candy. Are you even listening to me? No. <laughs> well, we're recording right now. How do you feel? Uh, I had a feeling. Are but you pissed? I feel... are, you, are you pissed? No. I'm scared of you. Well, are you ready to talk? I guess. You've got... Did you do meth? No, I didn't do meth. Well, then how are you going to be up for this? Uh, I... I do it in moderation. All right. Well, what are we talking about today? Um, Andy? games coming out in October. Games coming out in October. Today is October fifth, Candy. Did you know that? Uh, yeah. On my computer, it says that. What episode. is your favorite day in October, Candy? Um. What's your favorite thing about October, Candy? That is. Candy, what are you gonna dress up for as Halloween? What are you gonna dress up for Halloween in I'm October? I'm not sure. When do you think you're gonna go anywhere in October? Uh, I'm do not Do you going have any anywhere. special plans for October? No. Nope. Are you excited that fall's here, Candy? No. Well, October's I'm not. a great time of year, Candy. Can you stop talking over me when Fuck I'm on my own podcast? October. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where to start? October. I was just talking to Candy about this. I don't remember a gaming month ever this packed with such big titles I've ever wanted before. And you mentioned November before when? Which which year? Uh, a couple. Uh, I think Call of Duty came out. There was Skyrim came out. There's a couple other games. It was, it was like 2011 year. or something. Yeah. Skyrim. So two games came out, and that makes you think it was the biggest month ever. No, there. Oh God. Well. This There's month is other huge. games. Well, yeah. Civilization Beyond Earth finally got a, a release date today, I guess. October 24th. I knew it was going to be October, but I didn't know when. I've been dying for this game. You don't like these games, Candy. Why? Uh, they just... They don't strike me. They don't strike me in my heart like you. Maybe it's because my mind isn't advanced enough to do that. Maybe yeah, because you have to play the game for 20 hours straight just to beat it. No, you can you you can actually set the pace, Andy. Well, usually when you play it, it's usually takes a long time to beat. Well, that's online matches. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, have you ever played an online match of Civilization Five? Yes, yes, I have. Well, what do you think about it being now a space age version? Uh, I don't know because I didn't play much of the other one, but you I'm went... sure you're excited. Oh my god, I can't even tell you. I just hope uh, it'll be a big hit on Twitch, because I want to spend time playing it. I just looked up on Steam. Look how, You want to know how many hours I put into Sid Meier Civilization V? Uh, at least 200. 535 hours. Oh, that's good Good for you. And how often do I talk about spaceships? Uh, a lot. Not as much <laughs> as you used to. So you imagine me playing Civilization V with spaceships? Uh, you'd be pretty excited. Yeah, so I am excited. Um, October 24th. I need to put that on my calendar because I have not purchased this game yet, but I want to play it. I hope that I'll have other people to play it with. It was supposed to be James, but apparently the Mac version is being pushed back, and he's pretty upset about it. But how do you feel about James again? Uh, James a little bitch because that's all he has is a Mac, so... Yeah, he's kind of a fanboy. I mean, I understand that he likes Apple. I like Apple, but I don't, it shouldn't be too... too uh, Apple is for fanboys. Well, let's not get into this flame war, Candy. I just got an iPhone 6, Candy. Yeah, my but phone I, exactly. But, but I do podcasts, and I've had an iPhone since the 4, and I've never had a problem with an iPhone. All right, what's next? Super Smash Brothers already came out. That was the third. I am enjoying it. The only thing I'm not enjoying is it kills my hands on that little 3DS, my left hand mostly. I don't get to spend much time playing by myself because immediately when I get on stream, people want to start fighting me. So I don't really know how I'm going to schedule playing it. What do you think, Candy? Should I just dedicate whole days just to fighting people? Uh, maybe. Maybe well, have like a Saturday or something where you go and you fight people and they talk shit and then they, you know, do that type of stuff. 
Well, when do I um, play by myself? The single. Uh, um, before you fap? I'm I'm not sure. That's not an optimal. You don't play fucking video games with Mario before you stroke your dick off, Candy. Well, you never know. Maybe that's what you get off to. Have you done that? Uh, depends on what game it is. Candy, you've never masturbated and played a game at the same time. Uh, no, I've never done that. Okay, then stop acting like you're cool, Andy. Yeah? October 5th has Skylander's Trap Team coming out. Oh, yeah, I've been waiting for this game for a while now. What is it? Uh, it's the game where it comes, you buy the characters for it. Uh, they come with, like, the little, uh, figures that you use a camera with, and they uh, fight on the screen. On what? Uh, it, it's basically for everything. You I don't put, think it... You buy figurines and they get scanned of the game, kind of like those yeah. Nintendo things that are coming? Yeah, they basically are the same thing. So you're into that? No, I'm not into that. Then why did you just say you were waiting for it? Did you just lie to the audience? Because I was being sarcastic, because there's like 20 different versions you're of this You're a fucking game. asshole. Nobody needs your sarcasm here. That was mean. <laughs> did you know that on October 7th, Alien Isolation's coming out? Uh, yeah. I've heard there's a lot of bad reviews going about it, but I'm still excited about it. What did you... I don't what, think there's been a really good Alien game. No, there hasn't, and that's why this one was supposed to be a reckoning of all the old ones. Redemption. But apparently the reviews aren't doing too well. But I'm excited. I know that uh, the game apparently will listen to your microphone so that the alien can hear you and find you. So you have to be quiet, so I don't know how that's going to work with streaming. What do you think, Candy? Uh, you, I guess you're going to have to whisper. But, but then he's going to come over and whisper to me with his big-ass fangs and little mouth thing that comes out of his mouth. Well, then I guess you're going to have to whisper a lot lower. Well, I want to play it. I know if you pre-order it, you get the original cast from the first movie. Oh, really? The Gourney Weaver cast. So yeah. it's confirmed that people are going to die in that game. Well, yeah, of course. And uh, apparently you play as her daughter, and it's like years and years after the first movie. I don't know if you're familiar with the film series, Candy? Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen them. Well, Ripley got, got frozen in cryostasis and woke up years later, remember that? Yeah. This is before that as her daughter. Ah. Uh. Ah. You don't give a fuck, do you? Uh, not really. Well, you were just talking about Dragon Age to me earlier. You want this one? That comes out on October 7th, too. Yeah, I actually did not know that was coming out. I thought that was coming out next year. I haven't played a but, Dragon Age since the first one on PS3. Uh, I've been looking at some stuff, and it seems like they're going back to the original, which they needed to do because the first one was just like you just click a button and they just attack whatever. So, so they're going back to that? Yeah, they're going back to more a customizable uh -huh. type of gameplay like your choices actually make a difference and such they didn't have that in the second one they did but it was more streamlined mm. everything was a lot more simpler the combat system wasn't as complex i mean it was hit the a or x button and you attack and whatnot mm. I don't know, I'm probably going to pass on it again. There's too much for me to play this month. Um, oh, also, I might be buying that. Also, Drive Club. That's just a, a racing game, Drive right? Club, originally, wasn't it? That was supposed to be a... Wasn't that going to be... Xbox exclusive or something? No, wasn't that the... I thought that was the game that was going to come out for the PS4. I don't know. I don't know much about this title. Because there was a racing game that was supposed to be free for... Oh, uh, maybe this is that. I don't know. The little cliff note thing I'm looking at here does not say. Moving on, this has Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor listed under October 7th, but that's obviously because like, it came out a couple days ago. I love this game, and I know you don't like it, do you? Well, uh, you know. Well, I recommend people that like the Lord of the Rings universe and like like the Assassin's Creed and Batman Arkham series kind of play styles, then you'll really like this game. The thing with that game was, is I'm not a big fan. I feel that those games are too easy for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the combat system, but I've never really been interested. No, they get really hard. You didn't see some of the situations I was in? 
Yeah. But you crazy know. when you got fifty people on you, and when uh, the the but, Nemesis system. I mean, system. that's a lot different than Assassin's Creed. I also noticed. No, yeah, it is, but uh, it's very challenging with the Nemesis. Like when they get stronger if you lose, or they start hiring bodyguards and all this kind of stuff. It's fun. I think I'm maybe halfway through it. I need to finish it. And I'm trying to cram it in. Also, October seventh, NBA Two K fifteen and NBA Live fifteen. Are you excited? Oh, yeah, let's play some b-ball. You like basketball, right? No, I don't. You're the one that likes basketball. Yeah, but I remember you used to talk about how much you, like, you, you'd you say, Hey, Chris, how much, how much sweat you think's dripping off LeBron James's balls right now? And I'm like, Candy, nobody cares. Oh, oh man. So, I'd yeah. sure love to have some of that sweat dripple off that apple bags onto my chin. I was like, Candy, oh, yeah. why do you talk about that kind of stuff, Candy? Uh, I learned it from friends. Do you like sweaty basketball players? Yeah. Well, did you know that on October 14th we might be playing a game together? Yes, we will be. Possibly. I know you don't want, you want me to stop doing new releases, don't you? Uh, you know, I think that new releases hurt you more because you're still growing as a streamer, but we'll see. Yeah. October 14th is Borderlands, the pre-sequel. We may or may not be playing this that day, because like Candy said, it's hard for me to compete with the bigger streamers when they get all the viewers, so it's almost worth considering streaming them like a week or two later after the hype dies down with the bigger ones, and then you might get a trickle-down effect, if that makes sense. But I'm excited to play it. Is it a full-fledged Borderlands game? Like uh, the I heard it's not as big as the second one, but it's a full-fledged game. Hmm. I don't, I honestly don't know what that means, but... Why didn't they make a Borderlands 3? Uh, probably because they were, they're working on it, and they're waiting. It's hmm. probably going to be a couple more years, and it's going to come out on next gen. What are we going to play it on? Uh, probably PC. Okay. Well, I'm excited for it. It's fun. I don't know what class I'll pick. You're probably going to be, uh... uh... I have no idea. I thought about being Wilhelm. I thought you were going to be... God, I can't think of his name. Little robot guy. Oh, Claptrap? Claptrap, there I you thought go. You, I hmm. thought you'd make a good Claptrap. I don't want to be Claptrap. Why not? He's a little bitch. So? He fits you. Oh. oh. Candy, what's the Raven's Cry on October 14th? I have no idea. Well, then moving on, it's... how about... Well, go ahead. Do you have something? Uh, no. October 21st, Battlefield Hardline. Is that a new Battlefield title? Uh, yes, it is. It's a new... Uh, they're going with a new type of Battlefield now. Kind of like a, what, Payday. Mm -hmm. a payday style where it's cops and robbers. So it's heist? Yeah. It's more of that instead of like a war zone. So it's not military? Um, no, not anymore. What? So this isn't a main title. So it's like some players play as the cops, others play as the robbers, and yes, it is a main title. Huh. I had not heard about this one either. I don't really play a lot of those kind of games. October but, 21st but has a lot a of games. Lot, this game is like, there's a lot of worry that this game is going to turn out to be like Battlefield 4. Why? So it's going to be interesting because of how much trouble they had with that one. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. What's Evolve? That comes out on October 21st, too. Uh, something with music. Uh, I assume... Uh, wait, I, I no, don't No, 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 this is something else. That's after. Evolve uh, just says the word Evolve. I'm not familiar. But I'm another, not familiar. Another game, Fantasia Music Evolved. Is that what you meant? Yeah, uh, I'm sure the music will evolve in that game. What is this game? Uh, what's that? Music Evolved, Fantasia, what is it? Uh, it's... Uh, I, I don't know. You're supposed to and be my you're, newsman. You're supposed to be the guy who knows everything about music. Oh, come on. Well, then what is... Are you, you're still getting Just Dance 2015 and yes, streaming I it, right? Yes, I am. You're streaming Yes, I it. am. Yeah. Really? Uh, thanks a lot for telling the secret, asshole. You really gonna do it? Uh, not now. You gave it away. Dude, you would get a lot of viewers. If you wore, uh, your, if you wore like, your stained shirt. I, I'm gonna wear stained underwear. Or if you had like your meth pipe right on the uh, coffee table and you did some Why? meth in between songs. 
I'm going to wear my meth pipe up as a necklace. Candy, did you know that a huge game is coming out on October 21st as well that I've been waiting all year for? Uh, what? I don't know what that game is. The Evil Within, Candy. Oh, that's... Zara, you talked about that a lot. It looks terrifying. It's made by the original creator of Resident Evil. Did you know that? Uh, after, no, I didn't. After he left Capcom after years, it's, it's kind of tailored to a Resident Evil 4 kind of gameplay, but a lot more gory or terrifying, I guess you could say. Yeah. Are you going to play it? Uh, probably not. I'm going to play right it, There's... Candy. I don't care what you say. Well, then play it. Well, then why aren't you going to play it? Because I'm, I'm going to play it, Candy. I'm playing it. Then play it. Will you watch I'm sure me play your viewers... it? I will probably watch it, or I will watch your chat and look for teary people to call them crybaby bitches, or, you know, the normal candy stuff. What's remember, the... remember, viewers, Ava, if I do not acknowledge you, that means that you're a cool viewer. If I do, then you're probably being a crybaby bitch, and I'm <laughs> coming after you. So you only talk to the people that, that, that strike you the wrong way? Well, either strike me or one of the mods, or, you know, people that I find fit to be in the chat now have you ever masturbated during one of the streams um no i have not so you've never I done have any looked for material during one of your streams but really i mean i guess i what do you mean masturbated during one of, like like have you watching? ever masturbated while i was currently actively streaming i believe i have a couple times so you have got up from do you do it at the computer uh sometimes but i don't usually do it when you're streaming so I'm, well, I may shut you down. If you guys ever see me just disappear out of the stream, maybe I might have gone to pull one off. Do you go back to your your room to tug on the pecker? Or? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Well, you don't look at pornography back there. Uh, yeah, I I told you I have an active imagination. Sometimes I don't need material. Oh yeah, yeah. You think about like Ninja Turtles and shit. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's pretty easy for me. October 24th, Civilization Beyond Earth, we already covered that. Fantasy Life, what's this? Fantasy Life, I couldn't get much info off of this game. Apparently it's a 3DS game, I believe, that's being imported. It's made by Level 5, the people that made... Uh, didn't they do uh, the Nino Kuni? Mm-hmm. Okay, they base, it's a JRPG, apparently. I don't have much information on this game. Oh, maybe would I like it? Maybe. Uh, I don't. You might need to look into it. Hmm. I'll do that after the podcast then. But that's another fucking title on October. <laughs> um, October twenty eighth. There's a title on here. I've never played in this series, and a lot of people are mad at me for it. Assassin's Creed Unity. Yes. There, is, I, is that a main title? Because I know there was one that was not. There's there's games all over the place with these. The there. You know, I the Assassin's Creed games are okay. I'm not saying they're bad, but I just don't enjoy them. I don't know if I will. I mean, I like I like Shadow of Mordor, but I don't know the if I like... The combat isn't the same. I mean, yeah. it is, but it's not. Yeah. Well, people have asked me to do a marathon one day, possibly next year sometime. I don't know when. We have too many coming up. Um, Sunset Overdrive. What is that, another racer? Uh, I believe it is, yes. Wait, no, 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 no. Sunset Overdrive, I believe... Let me look this up real quick. I believe that's the exclusive game. Oh, uh, the PS4 uh, one? No, the... Uh, this is a game... Yeah, let's... Yeah, this game is made by the guys that made Ratchet and Clank. Oh, really? So it's not uh, a racer. It's an exclusive game coming out for the Xbox One. That's supposed to have like crazy weapons and all that type of stuff and racing gun like like a no. twisted metal no no it's it's a it's a third person shooter oh okay it's gonna be a lot like Ratchet and Clank okay. I'm actually not too happy about this game because I'm hoping that Insomniac comes back and makes Ratchet and Clank but we'll we'll see yeah what's up with Insomniac the past few years. Uh, they've you kind know, of fizzled out since Resistance. Well, they theme. haven't fizzled out. They've they're making the Ratchet and Clank movie, as far as I know. Plus, they're 
you know, they've been making games for multi-platform now instead of just exclusively PS or the PlayStation. Uh, okay. And another game, October 28th, that I have absolutely no interest in, WWE 2K15. <laughs> you don't want to play that with me? You don't you... want to, like, slap our sweaty bodies together and hit hit each other over the head with chairs? That's what you want to do? Yeah. Why don't we just can why don't you just cancel all the games and just, just play that? prepare for that all of November? Uh no, not all of November. <laughs> you have something else to play that. Yeah, I didn't think so. Well, that's it for October. So, I'm not sure of my schedule, but I want to get let's go through review. You're going to probably see a lot of mm, I guess that'll be more I don't know when I'm going to fit it in. Beyond Earth doesn't come out till the end of October. I'm going to try to, I'll probably play the fuck out of it when it comes out before I have to start that November news. I'll go over in a second. October 3rd, the Smash Brothers. I'm going to try to fit that in with viewers as much as I can. I don't know. Maybe I can think of a way to have certain people interrupt whatever I'm currently streaming during the week for a match. Whether it's a donation or something else I think of. Alien Isolation, I'm going to keep that to a Freaky Friday title. I don't know if it's a title that you can get through in one stream, but you'll definitely see it this Friday, because today is Sunday, it comes out the 7th, so I'm not going to play it on the 7th. I'm going to play it on, what is that? Friday Land on Candy. Um, that is tenth. the 10th. You'll see Alien Isolation on the stream on the 10th, this, this Friday. Dragon Age, not going to touch. Middle Earth, I'm going to try to get through that this week. I'm going to try to do at least two to three... Two to three 12 hour streams this week because I also have to get through Hyrule Warriors as well. Borderlands pre sequel, what are we going to do with that one? Uh, I'm not sure if we hold off on it. Uh, that might be more of a weekend one or something. Yeah, I don't know how could... long the game is. So... Maybe we could marathon a weekend through it? Maybe. It depends with your work and everything. Uh, the, I do have a long weekend coming at the end of October. Yeah, well, I'm going to be in New York 16th through the 21st, I believe. I get home the Tuesday that The Evil Within comes in, but I'll probably hold that off until the Freaky Friday. I don't know. Pretty excited for that one. We're going to have to see where we're at with the other ones. October 24th, Civilization Beyond Earth. You will probably see that a lot on the weekends. Um, we also need to get more Minecraft in. All right, what else we got? That's all for October releases. Did you know that... Uh, Nintendo turned 125? Yeah, last month. Yeah, we didn't even talk about it. Why didn't we talk about that? Because I just found the information today. Oh, My so... question is because I didn't... I guess they made toys and cards and stuff before yeah. they started yep. making video games. A lot of people don't know that. Good for you, I knew they Andy. Did toys and stuff, but... I didn't know that they, I knew, I thought they started like in the 60s and 70s. I didn't know they actually started in 1889 <laughs> on September 23rd. Yeah, crazy, huh? Yeah. What, uh, share with us your first memory of a Nintendo console. I, it's been a long time. I believe the first time was uh, the Nintendo system. And I believe the first time it was Chip and Dale's. On NES? Not, uh, yes, NES. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe that's the first one, but I can't be for sure. That's the f first like memories I can remember of playing the NES. Mine is the first Mario. <laughs> Just nice to have that kind of a memory. I remember... I, I, we actually had an Atari, and I remember when we got the Nintendo, and we, I played the, the hell out of Mario. I was one of the only people in the house that were decent at it. Oh, yeah. We did have an Atari. My brother bought one. Yeah. He had the Atari 5200, that piece of junk that <laughs> nobody bought. Yeah. I remember playing the hell out of Mario, and I remember the, the, the title screen, like, as a kid, it was always weird to me because there was a duck hunt at the bottom. Like, there were such vastly different games, and it was weird to have... Two on yeah. one, two on one. Uh, what'd you call it? Cartridge. And then I remember one summer. I believe it was a summer when I was staying with my grandmother in Texas, and we drove all the way back to Arizona. And I got home, and there's this like there was this bookshelf on the the right side of the TV, and my mom put up at the very top 
to tease me or something. She had the brand, because I was obsessed, the brand new Ninja Turtles game for NES <laughs> sitting up oh. there. And I went, I went ape shit. And I remember I w the game was so confusing me because looking at the cover, it looked so cool because they were all posing. But all of them had red bandanas on. Like they didn't have the orange, purple, blue, and the red. So you played the first one. The very first one. And the, it was the... hard as fuck. <laughs> I remember that one. That one was like the worst one out oh of all of them. Oh my god, I still remember it. Like, I thought it was so freaking cool when you got through the first stage and you go up to the over city map and you can walk around and go in the sewer holes. But f oh my god, it was hard. I remember Raphael got kidnapped and you had to save him. That's probably as far as I got and that's the very beginning. It was so hard. Did you ever play you it? Should... Uh, yeah, it's been a long time. I should what, play it now? Yeah, you should play it as... An adult no oh. memory. God, I, I was so I loved it though. I mean, I didn't love it as much as that Ninja Turtles arcade game. You go to Chuck E. Cheese and play. You know that yeah. one? Turtle. It wasn't Turtles in Time. It I don't know what you'd call it. Just Ninja Turtles arcade. What else would I play the hell out of on NES? Cubert wasn't Cubert on there? Uh. Some some kind of that. I don't know about Cubert. Oh, Marble Madness. I remember that. Oh, I played. Those were my memories from Nintendo. When I, think I, I, I never got a Nintendo system. I, I got a Game Boy, and that's the only system I had until I was, like, 12. I didn't have a... You wouldn't believe this, but I never had a Game Boy until Pokemon. I I remember my first game I actually owned was Zelda. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was it? A Link to the... On Game Boy? A Link's Awakening. Yeah, yes. Link's Awakening. And I remember I did not beat... I owned the game five years before I could finally beat it. You know the part where you're supposed to sprinkle the dust on that gopher? Mm -hmm. I did not figure that out for five years. <laughs> and one day I was just fucking around, spreading dust everywhere because I never could find out. And I spread it on him and then it worked. And I was like, my go, mind did was you go blown. Crazy? Did you go crazy? Yes. <laughs> I had like all the items you could get and everything and I just never could figure it out. I remember my first Zelda that, that brings up a memory was like, I don't know if you had to go to daycare or anything when you were a kid, when your parents were at work. Did you ever go to daycare? Uh, yeah, I did. I remember random ones and they had all of them had NESs and Mario Brothers 3 was <sighs> probably the most popular one. But I always was so obsessed with the gold cartridge, Zelda 2. <laughs> and I would oh. play it. And I thought it was so cool how you could, like, level up your health and stuff. But fuck, that game was hard, especially as a little kid. But I remember playing that playing that a whole bunch every time I went to daycare. And Mario yeah. 3, if you could ever get your hands on it. Everybody always grabbed that off the shelf. Could never touch Mario 3, but that was, a, that was a fun game, too. So those are my memories of the first Nintendo. What else do we have? Uh, you had shared Dragon Age, but do you have anything else to say on that one? Uh, not really. I mean... I'm happy, Nintendo. I honestly am worried about them. Mm. I don't think they're they're one the just like Square Enix. They've been they're doing better now. Apparently, they're out they're out doing uh the uh, Xbox right now. But they yeah. are Xbox is coming back. So. Finish? Oh my God. Oh, look, look who, who showed up! Who shows up? Oh. And we're about to end the fucking podcast. July. <laughs> Hi, Nomad. What's up? So yeah, Fantasy Life, you have that listed here too. I don't I'll have to read about that more. And then Borderlands, we covered on that. We don't know when we're going to play it. Do you want to talk about anything next month, or do you want to wait? No, uh, we'll wait. I'm so excited for The Evil Within. What about you, Nomad? Do you have anything to say in closing? Smoke weed every day. <laughs> you just woke up. Yeah? Or, hello? <laughs> Smoke weed every day. Oh, Lord. Yeah, there you go, people. A typical nomad. All right, well, I guess this one's going to come to an end. And we will do another podcast next Sunday or Monday. Say goodbye, Candy. Goodbye. Nomad, anything? Keep it real. Good. Candy, sing it with me, okay? Just say goodbye in a really long word, okay? Okay? Okay. Okay, goodbye.
and you're on meth. Oh, I beat your ass, Candy. Well, I don't have a big pecker like you, so. No, I've just had big peckers in my throat to clear. Or I mean, uh. Yeah. Cock manglers.